After completing this lesson, you will be able to create a new process model from scratch and apply appropriate security settings. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a new process model and apply correct security settings. This process model will allow registrars at Acme Automobile to add new vehicles to the fleet. Once in Appian Designer, you can create a new process model from the Explore or Build views. In the Build view, click New, and then select Process Model from the drop-down menu. You can create a process model from scratch or duplicate an existing process model. I'll retain the default selection, Create from Scratch. Appian recommends naming process models using the following naming convention. Start the name with the application prefix, and then use title casing and spaces to separate words. I'll name this process model AS New Vehicle. You should also always provide a short description. Developers usually work in teams, and this will ensure knowledge sharing across the team. I'll write Process Model for adding new vehicles to the Acme Automobile fleet. The folder for saving this process model was pre-populated, but you can always create a different folder if needed. Let's click Create. The next step is to secure the process model. Note that unlike other folder design objects, process models do not inherit security from their parent folder. Each new process model should be secured individually. Process models can be invoked by application users, so it's crucial that each process model is only available to users who are qualified to partake in a certain process. Like other application objects, you should always use groups rather than individual users to configure security. Groups won't get deactivated, ensuring that the process model continues to function properly. I'll secure this process model using the app's administrator and all user groups. I'll grant the administrator permission to the app's administrators group. This is the highest level of permission, and it will enable the app's administrators to fully manage this process model in Appian Designer. They will be able to fully edit this object, modify security settings, and even delete it. The app's all users group will have the viewer permission for this process model. This permission will enable the all users group to view and start the process model, but not make changes to it. When configuring permission levels, remember that business users will need to be able to start the process. So with this configuration, registrars will be able to start the new vehicle process. The other permission levels, manager, editor, and initiator aren't used often. So focus on understanding administrator and viewer. The deny permission is not very common either, but it can be used in instances where a subgroup of app users is nested within a group with a higher permission level. For example, you can use it to explicitly deny access for the mechanics group nested within the all users group. I'll click save, and now this process model is properly secured and I'm ready to configure process properties. Let's recap. You can always create a new process model from scratch or by duplicating one. Always use groups to secure process models. Administrator and viewer are the key permission levels. Administrator is the highest permission level. Use it only for developers in charge of the process model object. Viewers can view and start the process model, but they can't make changes to the design object. <laughs>